uh, recording something new for Voices of Calm. Today I'm joined by my partner in crime from the other side of the country, Sarah Bacala, and we're going to read for you a, <clears throat> a piece by James Allen, which comes from his book, The Divine Companion. This little segment is called Of the Knowledge of the Law. Okay, I'll play the disciple because I'm young and innocent, and Sarah will be the master. So, do you want to say a few words, Sarah? Um, no, well, except that I hope uh, people enjoy it. Okay, let's do it. So I start first. Show unto me now, O Master, the perfect knowledge. Reveal unto me the working of thy law. Illuminate my mind with the wisdom of enlightenment. The law of life is perfect. Nothing can be added to it or taken from it. It cannot be altered or improved. No one can avoid or escape it. Its operations are just. It is eternal and abides in the midst of change. By it, all things are protected and there is no confusion. The good is preserved in bliss and peace. The evil is purified with punishment and suffering. Knowledge it crowns with calmness. Ignorance it scourges with unrest. It works with twofold action. It is eternal causation. It takes note of every thought and deed. Thou hast attained, O disciple, to spiritual vision. Look now upon the world and tell me what thou seest. I see, O Master, the great darkness called ignorance. I see lurking therein the smouldering sparks of desire. I see how those sparks gather strength. They intensify into flaming passions and over all mankind are heavy clouds of sorrow, and these are for the quenching of passions. Thou hast well seen. Look again, and say what thou beholdest. My sight hath pierced the cloudy veil of sorrow, and above all I see the great light called truth, and there is no darkness therein, no desires can enter there, and there are no consuming passions. There is no weeping and no unrest. Thou hast seen, O disciple, the law of life. Thou hast perceived the twofold action of the law. There is ignorance which fosters desire. Desire is the painful hunger to obtain. It is also the feverish clinging to that which is obtained. Thence arises separation from the thing desired, and this is suffering and sorrow. From desire also arises egotism or selfishness. Thus is created an illusory self. And in the delusion of the self is the nightmare of the world's woe. Thus man suffers by the action of the law. He can also escape suffering by the action of the law. When desire is abandoned, the painful hunger of the mind is cured. The burning fever of clinging to things is assuaged and there is no separation and sorrow. Thence arises union with all that is, and this is satisfaction, bliss, and peace. From non-desire also proceed humility and love. The delusion of a permanent and separate individuality is destroyed. The preservation of the self is abandoned. And thus is cut away the ground of hatred and pride and selfishness. Then arises holiness. The reality of things is revealed. Truth is perceived comprehended and known and this is the knowledge of the law this is the bliss of immortality very simple is the law O oh, truth yet who shall com yet who shall commend it O oh, truth yet who shall comprehend it beautiful to behold yet who can gaze upon it faultless in equity yet who will listen and receive it the pure-hearted one receives, beholds, and comprehends. He acts with the action that is not attained by sin. His charity is without limit. It embraces all living things. He perceives with the vision that does not err. He does not condemn, knowing the perfect law. And knowing the perfect law, he has entered into peace. Where knowledge is perfected, peace abides. Great is the calmness of the wise. Deep is the peace of the pure, perfect the bliss of them that know the truth. Stilled are the tempests of the mind, there is no more perturbation. There is a haven for the storm-tossed, 
a home for them that are lost and forsaken, a refuge for all who wander in the night. I have found thee, thou eternal one, at last. Thou hast sought and found, thou hast fought and conquered, thou hast striven and attained. He who has afflicted has become the healer of men. The child has become the instructor, the pupil has become the teacher, the disciple and the master are one. What I am, that thou art. Abide with me in peace. Okay, that's it folks. Have a think about it and stay, stay safe during this coronavirus season.